hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is agitim kize aka black girl scientist welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber so as the title of this video says i'm going to be doing this video about hiv testing at home i'm going to actually be taking one myself so this is the test that we're going to be using um i'll get into the details of it obviously later on in the video i'm going to be going through the different kind of hiv tests that are available um of course going through the kit that i'm using and what kind of test that is how it works how to actually do the test in the privacy of your own home and also what the results mean so yeah we're going to be covering everything hiv testing at home in this video so if you're interested in this video keep watching so as i said today we're going to be doing an hiv testing at home video i'm going to be taking you through everything step by step so just a bit of statistics, obviously, as usual. Um, about 20% of people that are actually infected with HIV don't actually know that they're infected. So that is a scary statistic if you ask me um people may be infected with hiv but they may not actually know so that's why it's important to test regularly and to lead um, a pretty safe lifestyle so basically the first thing that the hiv testing um the kit which i'll go through at home it provides fairly accurate and reliable results in the privacy of your own home so the reason why i'm doing this video is because um of course we just had world aids day which was on the first of december 2020 so world aids day is actually an international um day that's recognized internationally um it's been world aids day since 1988 so what this day basically does is it's it's it, ra it raises awareness so the purpose of the having the whole first of december is to raise awareness um about hiv and obviously to mourn people that have succumbed to the disease and have succumbed obviously because they had aids which is an advanced stage of hiv so i thought in you know keeping with the theme of that week and it being world aids day that i should actually do an hiv testing at home video so this is exactly that's exactly what motivated me to do this video and i really want to encourage you to test regularly and of course to lead um, a safe and healthy lifestyle so i'm going to talk about the different types of tests that are available for hiv um now so there are three different types of tests there is a nucleic acid test there's an antibody antigen test and then there's an antibody test so what is the difference basically between these tests is that they detect different things so in the nucleic acid test um it's a pcr test so it is it uses blood and then it uses specific primers i won't get into the science too much to detect hiv um genes in the blood so that's what it, it tests for nucleic acids or dna then there's an antigen antibody test and this looks for both antibodies and antigens so antigens are foreign substances substances um, that cause the immune system to be activated so that's what antigen antigens actually are so in hiv there's a an antigen called the p24 antigen and this is produced before antibodies so um basically these tests are also uh, ranked in order of sensitivity with the nucleic acid test then the antibody antigen test um and that's because the p24 antigen is actually detected before your body actually makes antibodies against hiv so then coming to the antibody test what are antibodies basically um so with this particular test you have to um have had hiv exposure so it doesn't detect early infection you have to have had hiv exposure um it'll only detect it up to three months later when you've actually been infection infected so anti the antibodies are basically also these substances that are formed by the body to fight off infection so it takes because you have to wait three months it takes a while for your body to make antibodies against the virus and that's why uh, this three month kind of period is called the window period so this is the period in which 
any antibody test may not pick up infection even though a person is actually hiv positive so i hope i hope that all makes sense with the different tests that we're going to be going through um basically with the test that we're going to be using today this is the test it's a bioshore hiv self test this was actually the only test that was available at the pharmacy where i bought it and i actually asked them if there are any other tests because i recall actually a while ago when i did an hiv self test um that there were different kinds of tests on the market so this is the test that we're going to be using it says south africa's only hiv home test kit for non-professional use and it also says the world's easiest hiv test no questions no labs no waiting so i'm actually not quite sure if this is the only test that's available um for us here in south africa i'm not sure about that but this is the test that i got at um the pharmacy i bought this test at Dischem. it retails for 184 rand 95 so 185 rand and yeah this is the test so let's go ahead and open it First of all, this test says it's very simple to perform. It requires just a tiny drop of blood. You can test wherever, whenever is convenient for you and get easy to read results in just 15 minutes. So it's a single test. It's private, confidential and voluntary. And HIV is a treatable condition. Once you know your status with correct and early treatment, you can protect your own and your partner's health. So you can test from four weeks after possible exposure, but if your result is negative, you should test again in 12 weeks. And this is because basically what I just explained is that this test looks for antibodies to HIV and each person makes these at different times. So the Bioshow HIV self-test was the first approved CE Mark product and is, it has an inbuilt sample control line. So this basically um, at the end of the test, which you'll see, it will show you if the test actually worked or not. So let's open up the test. So it comes with this in the sleeve and then you take this out and then it's wrapped in plastic. And then it comes with the sleeve, another sleeve, so they're two sleeves. And this is what the contents look like inside okay so let's go ahead and open this part um and that is upside down <laughs> so this part is the actual little test that we're going to be using that comes in this huge thing so i'm going to go ahead and pop that open So this is what comes inside this is a little thing to prick your thumb so blood comes out then this is the actual test that's what the actual test looks like and they give you a plaster as well <laughs> So it's really important when you do this test, of course, to read the instructions. It's a really simple, to, um, easy to use test. Like I said, I've done one before. You just prick your, you prick your thumb and then you put in a buffer, um, which is basically liquid that just makes sure that your blood moves along um, the actual test. So what this test does is that when you put in your tiny drop of blood and then the buffer to move along um, your blood or the sample, which is your blood, along the strip. So along the strip, there are different um, antibodies, basically, that if you are positive, they will attach to them. So there are different um, antigens across the strip. And if you have antibodies for them, then you will attach the 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 your the the antibodies in your blood will attach to that sample and then you will get a positive result and if it's negative um then you run your blood along there and then nothing attaches and you get a single line and um it is positive so that is how the test work um the test works i'm going to do the test off camera and then i'll come back and we'll talk about what the test results mean and um 
everything around that so i'm gonna do the t so i'm gonna do the test and then it's gonna be a 15 minute wait and then i'll come back and and share um that with you and what different results means mean whether you're positive or negative a few minutes later okay you guys so it's been 15 minutes for me as you can see i have my plaster i'm done with my test i just wanted to take you through how you actually do the test okay just briefly um please excuse my camera skills like this is actually way more difficult than i thought so basically in that little um smaller thing where the test actually is it comes with this which you to prick your finger your test and then this little buffer solution over there so basically what you do is by the way the instructions are super simple like super simple a primary school kid can you know do this test so you take this you put it um on your finger and you push down until you hear a click and then you take this it has a little nozzle um yeah okay, i'll actually take it out because i'm done with my test now um Okay, so then it has this little sample, this little pot of buffer here. So you take it out and you put it, there's a hole right here. And you put it in there. And then after you've drawn up your blood with this, because it has a nozzle, it just uses, um, you know, it will just automatically like suck up. And then you place your test in the buffer pot. It's in foil, so you'll pierce that and you'll place it down. And then you'll have... Um, your test begins to run so when you see your test begin to run color will move up the strip basically and then you take your after 15 minutes you'll have your results um the results are all set here then you take your test and you lay it oh actually it says with the part <laughs> you take it and you lay it down there to be able to interpret your results so one line your test is negative two lines your test is positive um but you must have your positive test confirmed by a professional and no lines means your test did not work yeah, so that is the test guys so i've tested now and it comes the test also comes with this um opaque bag where you will actually dispose of everything when you're done um in there so what i wanted to actually go through now quickly is just um what the actual results mean so if you have one line it means that your test is negative you testing negative of course um like i said because of the nature of the test if you've had possible exposure to hiv um you know in less than a couple of weeks then it will not pick it up so it will only pick up antibodies against the virus so that's what it means also testing negative does not mean that your partner is negative too so don't use like one person um in your sexual relationship to test for hiv because hiv is not transmitted on every sexual encounter and you never know like so rather just both of you test um, for HIV. Do not use one partner's negative result as kind of just, okay, that's what we're using. It means that I'm negative too. No. So if you get a positive result, which is two lines, um, as the test says and emphasizes that you need to get the result confirmed by a healthcare professional. I actually think for both, whether you're positive or negative, you need to have the result um, confirmed by a healthcare professional professional the uh, why i'd really recommend that is because you undergo counseling and um things like that and it's really you know such a sensitive thing and actually doing the test at home and then uh, you know getting two lines you need to go and have that firstly confirmed you need to undergo counseling you need to be put on treatment and it's not the end of the world if your test comes out positive as we know hiv is no longer a death sentence and yeah that's that's really what i wanted to cover i also did um ask people on my social media both my um instagram and twitter that i'm going to be shooting this video about hiv testing at home what kind of questions do people have from for me so i did get a, a few questions most of them were basically what the results mean and what to do if you get a positive test and that i've covered another one was that 
I think this is just a bit more about HIV terminology is that, you know, when people are infected with HIV and they are adhering to their treatment and they're taking it well, they, um, their viral load becomes lower than the limit of detection. So this is usually less than 50 RNA copy, copies per mil of blood. And that means that their viral load is just really, really low. It does not mean that they're HIV negative. There are maybe um, tests that they do which may come out negative and they need to do more sensitive tests because their viral load is low. It does not mean that they're cured from HIV. It does not mean that they are HIV negative. And HIV, HIV negative is a status, which means that you do not have HIV infection. So um, I'm not sure. Um, I've never heard those words being used interchangeably when someone says that they have a very like, very low viral load, that they are HIV negative, because that is not true at all. Um, a lot of you wanted to know about the window period, which I explained in earlier in this video that because antibody tests only um, detect antibodies and your body can take up to three months to develop antibodies against the virus. So that's the time where, that we call the window period. And you actually, you know, people could be um, infected with HIV, but actually test negative for an anti antibody test. If they are early in infection, it means that your body has not created these antibodies or these soldiers that actually fight the virus. So that's, that, that was the window period. I also had a question if HIV can live outside of the body. Um, we do tests uh, and experiments in the lab where we actually uh, grow infectious virus in cells. So it can live out, outside the body. And I hope that my answer on Instagram didn't confuse anyone when I said it's a bit more complex because it can live outside the body in, in terms of us doing science and experiments of it. But otherwise, it cannot... Um, it cannot live in outside of the body. HIV needs a host in order to live and survive and replicate. So make more virus. So it does not live outside of the virus. So yeah, this is mine um test here and like i said i really want to encourage you to test, get tested. Um everybody get tested in you know this this month as it's uh you know, uh, it was World AIDS Day on the 1st of December. Everybody get tested and absolutely want to encourage everybody to know their HIV status and to practice safe sex, to have one sexual partner at a time and just live a really great, healthy, safe lifestyle. You only have one life and you know make sure that you take care of yourself so that brings me to the end of the video i hope that you enjoyed this video most importantly i hope that you learned something from this video with regards to hiv testing and hiv testing at home if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click that subscribe button so i really hope you enjoyed this video it's december now be safe um if you're going on holiday be safe if you're going to be partaking in december activities and i'll see you guys on the next video